Captain Andy. It's Nigel here. There's a storm coming. Can we come into the harbour? Right, Nigel. In you come alongside. Plenty of room. Come in, line stern. Boys, that's Jack Gusto on the telly. And then to bed. Planet Earth is our home. We need to become familiar with this estate we have inherited. So when probably the entire Bahamas are a giant sponge. Exactly. Alright, still here. Gordon. Hello. Yo. It's your watch. This is not what we expected. No. no. What so, were we expecting? We've got a way of living. Lord, it makes me feel We're so expecting them to be cheap. Right. We're hoping them to be cheap because we're from Scotland. tonic for my troubles. It gets me reeling every time. We've got about uh, two hours to run. Two hours two to go. Yep. So to fill the time, we thought we would list the things that make owning a Nordhaven better than owning another kind of boat. Right. What are they? Nigel? Well, I'll, I'll go first. So the first one is the boat's built properly. The boat is substantial. Built, it's substantial. And I don't just mean that it's thick and it's heavy. I mean the electric systems are engineered properly. The equipment that's fitted in the boat, whether it's the engines, the water makers, the thrusters, the cranes, it's all top top of the line equipment and it's got great support, worldwide support. That's number one. Well, there's five things. We're not going to turn about then. Well, you can do yours. Go ahead, yours. Too late. <laughs> oh. I, I like it because it looks nice. The other world was here, and you hear it now. We're just on the brink. Returning homewards together. So we spent all that time fitting the backup auxiliary pump for the hydraulic cooling system, yeah. which is fantastic. That's more redundancy. Um, so that's another. It's another technical thing, like the prop. But it started. You know, we filmed the prop starting up, and no cavitation. Very interesting. Well, so some boats have four blade, blade props, and some boats have five blade props, and the right no reason. I don't think anybody really knows. And so it would be good to have some way for everyone to learn stuff on a kind of broad front as right. opposed to hunting through email after email after email. So the way to do that would be a podcast, a North Haven podcast once a month right. with guest speakers. Yes. Yeah, we want people that know what they're talking about in these podcasts. Instead of us. Well, exactly. One of the um, one of the things that worries a lot of North Haven owners is piracy. Yeah. But, I mean, there are no pirates here in the Exunas, are there? I would do that again because we're not meant to know the signs there. What? <laughs> we're sitting back having a gin and tonic, and we're drinking the botanist from Scotland, which is which is made in Scotland.
on sun-soaked seas, beating the hand lines, your skin at the oars, turning the bows into the Maria wake for the thrill of it all. Across the middle of the bay, a line of faces in the waiting hour. And I could see. So, Nigel, this compet, this Scotland Bahamas competition that seems to have emerged just two days into this mission, right? I, I'm looking around and I'm thinking this is exactly the same as Scotland. Blue sky, flat seas. We get flat seas once a year. So, I'm, and I'm saying, Gordon, that's we're talking about Scotland over northern Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. All right. Okay. But there's one thing about the Bahamas I've discovered. There's more than one, but this is a good one. There's one thing, and it's this. We are scalping along at eight knots in just uh, 12, 12 feet. feet of water. 12 feet. And it's going to be like that for 100 miles? It's going to drop. It's going to... We're going to go down to about 10 feet. We'll come back when it's 10 feet. Yeah. Nigel, we're, we're in Scotland now, and I'm looking around and I'm thinking, this is just like the Bahamas, but there's, there's one thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You, you can't see the bottom. No. Guess how deep is he here? Six feet. Okay. Welcome to the North Haven Podcast with Gordon Turner and Nigel McLeod. Today's guest is Ernie Romeo from ABT Track. We're going to be talking about maintenance and troubleshooting on track stabilizers and thrusters. Call from Nigel McLeod. Hi, Nigel. Now, I'm just listening to the podcast and waiting for my new boat to be delivered. What? Nine and a half minutes. Okay. Scottish ending. Okay, leave it with me. Bye. Call from Nigel McLeod. Hi, Nigel. What, you, you meant a Scottish Bahamas ending? Nigel McLeod. And no rain. Okay, leave it with me. Uh, boys, aren't you forgetting someone? Got a way of living, Lord, it makes me feel so fine. You've got a way of living, Lord, it makes me feel so fine. You're the tonic for my troubles, it gets me reeling every time. I've never been to China But I'd like to go there now with you I've never been to China But I'd like to go there now with you We could sail out on that slow boat Just like the way they used to do Hummingbird singing his song You don't give a damn who can hear it My heart is singing along If I'm not in heaven now I swear I must be near it When I think about you darling Oh it sets my heart aglow When I think about you darling Oh it sets my heart